So I have all of the hoppers locked in order to, you know, demonstrate that. Hey, you doers, what's up? It's your boy, Happy Jeppy here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Look at on this one. It's not tutorial Tuesday, I know. But on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up an item sorter or an item sorter system for the nether. That's right. I understand we're here in the overworld, but um, yeah, I just don't want to deal with all the scary noises. Okay. The principle remains the same, whether you are in the overworld or the nether. It doesn't really matter. You just can't use water in the nether. And now these right here, these are the items that you are going to need. These are for the item sorters. So however many item sorters you are building, bring this times that. We're doing 12, so we're going to be bringing this times 12. This right here is for the pusher system in order to get the items moving along. So you need 15 of the ice that won't melt, two honey blocks, two sticky pistons, two slime blocks, six repeaters, four redstone dust, and then your dropper to feed the system, plus however you're going to power it. You need your builder blocks. And then if you are going to be turning the corner and extending this, this is what you need to bring along. So you need your extra building blocks, some extra redstone and a repeater, plus one sticky piston, slime block, and two honey blocks. This is going to seem complicated, but it's so straightforward. Let's get into the build. Okay, the first thing we need to do for this is set up the item sorters. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a little T here in the ground. This is going to be the first one with a single block on the back side. We're going to have a repeater that goes underneath it. We're going to have a redstone torch up front. And then on the top here, we're going to have a comparator on the end block facing in. Now take your redstone dust, run three of them down, and voila. The redstone for it is complete. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our hopper and we're going to run it into that comparator right there. We need two temporary blocks. Our chest, we can now remove these and run two hoppers going into that chest. This is what it should look like right here. And that right there is an item sorter. Now I'm not gonna dive too much more into this because I have, I literally have a whole video talking about this. So now we're just gonna repeat this 12 times. Okay, now with all of our item sorters set up here, what we need to do is we need to lock the hoppers in order to sort out the specific items that are coming into these. Now for the nether and for something like a bartering farm, I suggest at least three sorters per item because yeah, they kind of jumble up and yeah. So now in order to lock these hoppers, what you're going to do is you're going to put four items in the tail end here. So the back four slots and then 41 of whatever items that you are going to want to sort. So when we get over to the nether, we're going to be doing things like obsidian and all of the items that you get from a bartering farm. So you're going to want to put in four of something that is not going to go through the system and then 41 of whichever items that you are going to put in there now the reason why you're going to put 41 and you're not going to put any more in the back half here is that will end up having the signal bleed over into the next sorter which you do not want okay so once you have your dedicated items sorted out so let's say you have three hoppers dedicated for obsidian three hoppers dedicated for iron three hoppers dedicated for blackstone now what we're going to do is we're going to take our ice and we're going to run it from the first hopper all the way down to the end and then we're going to extend it past the end here by three hoppers. And what that's going to allow us to do, that's going to allow us to turn the corner with our item sorters. Okay, and right here off of the end of this, so at the beginning of where our item sorters are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run three pieces of obsidian. These have to be obsidian. And off of this back corner, we're going to make a little path that is two blocks wide and four blocks long. Like so. And then we're going to turn the corner and we're going to run another four blocks in a two by two pattern. And what we should have is this little heart right here. And then on the corner of this heart, we're going to put a solid block, solid block. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our repeaters. We're going to run one, two, three, four. We're going to turn inwards. We're going to run another one with another one running into that block. Now we need to set the timers for all of these and they're all going to be set to four. Except for this one right here leave this one just on its first tick and then we're going to fill the rest in with some redstone dust and when you're all done this is what you should have right here so here's a little picture of the bird's eye view now what we're going to do is we're going to put a sticky piston with another sticky piston so both of them should be facing inwards each sticky piston is going to get a slime block we're going to place down a temporary block here with two honey blocks in front of it like so okay now what we need to do is we need to activate these things and it's a little finicky we have to use a redstone torch. What we need to do is we need this one to go forwards and back, and then this one forwards and back without these two things connecting. And the easiest way to do that is to just place down a redstone torch, remove it. And as you can see, we get our nice little stagger here. 
This is why we have the timing set up the way they are too as well. So that way these do not interfere with each other. Now what we need to do is we need to go obsidian right here in between obsidian on the other sides like so and now this is the little path where it is going to shoot things and if we just throw an item in there as you can see it got picked up by the first one right here so we can do that again we'll just throw a bunch of items in there they all line up along the side and get caught by the first hopper here okay i've turned this off for now i'll turn it back on here in a second because now what we need to do is we need to make the shoot so we need all of the items to drop down right here in this one single block. So what we're going to do is we are going to build a little box out of obsidian. The lower layer here has to be obsidian because slime does not stick to obsidian. And if we use anything else, well, yeah, it just ends up being weird. We'll make the shoot out of glass for now so that way you guys can see it. But I'll leave the lower half here out of obsidian so that way everything doesn't get awkward. Wrong block. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to feed in our dropper. This is going to drop the items into the chute. Close this off. Dropper is activated. System is activated. So as you can see, the stickies are bouncing back and forwards, which is perfect. And now what I'm going to do before I show you guys exactly how this system works is I'll fill up all of these item sorters, get them locked out so that way we can see exactly how this system works and functions properly. Okay, each hopper has now been locked out. So as you can see, each of them has 41. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up this dropper here just to show you guys exactly how it works. So we'll put these items in, then we'll throw in some items that don't belong in the system too as well. Okay, and as you can see, only the items, I should probably put a blocker here at the end, hang on. Only the items that end up down here at the end are the items that do not have a sorter organized and set out for them. So the rest of the items, if we go down and check and see, are all going to be ending up in their very first chest as they do go by. And all of your items are ending up down here in this little back corner and kind of building up. Now this is perfect because as you can see, we don't need any more honey blocks than the two that are here. So now in order to turn the corner here, what we need to do is we, so we're going to put this block, that block. The reason why we put these three here is so that way you can put the item sorter in place exactly as is and turn the corner. So now what we want to do is we want to take this end block and we actually want to replace these with our two honey blocks. So we're going to one and two. Then off the back corner, we're going to run a three block gap like so on top of the second one out slime block third one out sticky piston and now we're going to take our builder blocks and from the back corner here where this redstone signal is what you're going to do is you're just going to run three blocks maybe four nope three blocks is good you're going to bring it towards the redstone step it up and run it all the way down connecting it to that piston right here now all you're going to do is you're going to take your redstone dust. You're going to run it down all the way and over top of this until the redstone signal stops. So that's going to be about 12 or 13 blocks away. And then just continue running your redstone all the way to this slime block. As you can see, we've now got the slime block activated and watch what happens when we reactivate this system up here. Okay, items are dropping, items are being collected, and there you go. It pulls out of the way just in time for items to get down to the end, and you can carry this on, grab some more ice, turn the corner with your item sorter, and then you are good to go. This is a bird's eye view of what everything looks like when it is all finished, okay? So just reimagine, you know another set of item sorters on the other end there on the bottom half okay and this is what it looks like here with the chute removed so as you can see all the redstone and everything's in place it's just one simple system that fires it all you just have to be very careful about how you fire the initial redstone torch and you should be good to go you're going to want to double check your timings too as well so here's another picture of it use that end block with a little redstone torch on it in order to activate the system otherwise it gets a little weird again make sure you're using obsidian so that way the slime blocks don't stick to anything at all okay so here we are in the nether obviously so here is the complete item sorted system set up in the nether ready to go so i have all of the hoppers locked in order to you know demonstrate that the items do flow across if i were to put something like let's say what's in here grass blocks 
load them up in here you're gonna see that none of them make it down the line whenever they do get deposited and there we go so you can see they do get caught up in the system so the item sorter does work the items are passing over the hoppers you don't need a million honey blocks in order to get this done and yeah it's a pretty sweet little system sometimes they like to spit out so that's why you're going to want to make sure that you completely surround this thing with whatever material you're bringing in order to stop the items from having a little heyday and springing out but that's going to do it for this episode you guys so leave a like make sure you hit subscribe i'll put this one in a world download for you guys so you know where to find it shophappyjappy.com thank you everybody for all the support make sure you join the discord if you need any help for any farms or anything like that and uh yeah I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.